This is part 7 of Angular Grad tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to have a radio button checked by default and how to disable a radio button. Now within Visual Studio Code, this is the HTML that displays the gender radio buttons. Now what we want to be able to do is when this form initially loads, we want this male radio button to be checked by default. And for that, we typically do something like this. On the male radio button, which we want to have checked by default, we include checked attribute. Let's save our changes and then take a look at the browser. Notice the male radio button is not checked. Now let's remove this ng model directive from the male radio button, save our changes and then take another look at the browser. Notice now it is checked as expected, but the moment we put it back in place, Notice it's not working again. So this checked attribute is not working as expected when we use the ng model directive. Now to make it work, all we have to do is within our component class, we introduce the gender property and then initialize it to a value which you want to have as the default. Now we want the male radio button to be default. So I set the gender property to male, save our changes and if we take a look at the browser, notice the male radio button is checked as expected. Now let's remove the checked attribute altogether and see if it still works. Notice we still have the male radio button checked. Now if you want the female radio button to be checked, all you have to do is set this gender property to female, save our changes and if we take a look at the browser, we should have the female radio button checked. So, if you want to have a radio button checked by default, include its corresponding property within the component class and initialize that property to the value of the radio button that you want to have checked by default. In our case, we want the male radio button to be checked by default. So we have the gender property and we initialized it to a value of this male radio button. Notice the value attribute right here. So that is the value that we have initialized this gender property with. So when the page initially loads, the male radio button is checked as expected. For our form, we don't want any radio button to be checked by default. So I'm going to remove the gender property and its corresponding value. Now let's discuss how to disable a radio button. To disable a radio button, all we have to do is include the disabled attribute. In this case, we have the disabled attribute on the male radio button. So if we take a look at the browser, notice male radio button is disabled and if we hover the mouse over it, the cursor style changes and I cannot select the male radio button. On the other hand, this female radio button is not disabled and I can select that. But notice this angular generated form model here. We don't have the gender property value you know, within that Angular generated form model. Now if I select contact preference as phone, it is captured. Similarly, if I enter 12345 as the phone number, that is captured. Email is also captured because all these form controls, they are not disabled. But since this gender radio button is disabled, its corresponding property gender did not make into the Angular generated form model. So the important point to keep in mind is by default, the disabled form controls are not included in the Angular auto-generated form model. Now let's see what happens when we click the save button. But before that, let's launch the browser developer tools. When we click the save button now, the form should be logged to the console. Let's expand the form, scroll all the way down. We should have the value property. And when we expand the value object, again notice within this object, we don't have the gender property captured. For our form, we don't want any radio button to be disabled. So let's remove the disabled attribute. If you want to have a radio button disabled, all you have to do is include the disabled attribute. But the important point to keep in mind is by default, disabled form controls are not included in the Angular auto-generated form model. In our next video, we'll discuss working with checkbox control in Angular template-driven forms. Thank you for listening and have a great day.